really non-political questions as well, as well as <coughs> political as well, because it's a bit politics so far. Um, one at the back, Peter and Jack. Hi, um, I've got a couple of things. Um, Can you squash it in one big one? <laughs> What's your name? What do you think about the nine grand what? fee? What do you think about... What's your name, sorry? I'm Kate. Okay. Um, I'd like to know what you think about the increase in student fees, um, the nine K. And another thing, my colleague, Suzanne, absolutely adores you. I mean, <laughs> when you blow her a kiss. <laughs> do not regain their seat on the London Assembly and that all moderate political parties should be working together to make sure that they don't. And secondly, um, regardless oh, are you, are you Peter? Yes. Regardless <laughs> of... <laughs> spreading. Um, <laughs> secondly, regardless of, you know, past political history, past political beliefs, can you see why members of that are gay, like myself, in the Conservative Party, were offended when Ken made the comments he did? Whether he misspoke or didn't mean to make them, you know, to say that the Conservative Party is riddled with closet homosexuals, it's actually, to be quite frank, it's riddled with people that are out and about. You know, we've got Deputy Mayor of London who's gay and a very good friend of mine. And can you see why that would offend people when you're, when you're saying that and how it would offend the openly gay people in the Conservative Party? Okay. Uh, uh, yes, and the other one, yeah. Yeah, I'm Jack. Um, have you got any more plans in the pipeline for um, your personal fundraising challenges? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, nine grand. Um, yes. Yeah. The there was a grant system when I went to uh, university. I I am emotionally in love with that idea. I know Ken has said he's he's totally behind that. I you know I it was something that really challenged me as it, as, it, as it went. Through and I, I must admit I can't give you a straight answer right now. I think Ed, Ed Miliband said he wants to bring it down to the six grand cap. I'm okay with that. I look the idea of, of being a tax, you know, uh, um, a graduate tax. That sounds interesting to me, and I keep trying to get policy comes in front of me, policy wants, so I can say, tell me, take me through all the whys and wherefores, so I can make an absolute decision on this. I haven't got to the fine uh, end and. and, and to be able to make a, a complete judgment call on this, but emotionally, of course, I'm with the idea that everyone can can get to university uh, with a grant system. Be, and the trouble is, is obviously the rich are, are fine with the idea of debt, and probably wouldn't have to do that because they'd be rich enough, and their parents would just pay for it anyway. And if the people coming from the idea that debt is anathema, then they have to take on the debt, and I can see the problems with that. I, I, I haven't got to the bottom of exactly where I stand, and I and so I apologise for that, but I'm not running for it years, so that's. That's very good. The kiss is here. Who am I kissing? <laughs> I just did a general kiss. <laughs> Boris against the BNP. Absolutely, everyone should be against the BNP. The British Na Nazi Party is <laughs> there, and um, you know it, it's good that the Tory Party hate the British Nazi Party as well as oh, it's someone we can all get up and salute. And, and I campaigned in Dagenham. Um, and uh, it was great that they, they disappeared down the plug hole back then. But they, it is a cancer that keeps coming. We did fight the Second World War to get rid of fascism, and it was horrible to see them using the, uh, the images of us winning the Second World War to say that that was part of the BNP. So that is an unfortunate and terrible thing. Um, the gay people, I, I, I hear what you say, but as we said before, sometimes you know, Boris will say things Ken will say things. Um, if you get in and you take it all apart, it's not great. As a straight trans person, I, I uh, or want to be lesbian. Um, <laughs> I would like everyone to get a page on that. But I'm sure if we look at people being homophobic and not homophobic, it, it can spread through all forms of life. Um, but if you, as you are in the Tory party, and you obviously have a lot of energy, get in there and wheedle any of it out. So that it, get people out of the closet if they are in the closet. I'll, <laughs> I'll try and do it at my end. <laughs> I'm, out, I'm, I'm outing transvestites, with their, with their permission. Like, other people. Hey, no, May the 3rd. Sorry? For May the 3rd, we probably won't be able to get very far. But it is positive. You know it is best. If you are gay, let's be a transgender. Just get out there. G GBLT, is it GBLT? Because I'm dyslexic, so... <laughs> <laughs> 
there was a car called an MGBGT, and I, I was going up the MGBGT. I call it alternative sexuality, which is much easier for me to say. But yes, do be out. Do be all parties. Well, hopefully there'll be a future where it won't matter. That would be nice. Um, challenges, Jack. Challenges. Uh, yeah, I'm going to run barefoot. <laughs> so barefoot is the new um, is the new LBGBT. Um, it is. It's the push in the edge as we push the edge of, of sexuality and say this is actually cool, guys, and it has been cool for years. Um, barefoot running comes from a place where there's a two million years of development of human beings and and only about ten thousand years of putting on sandals. So we are. We are more suited. If you have the big spongy shoes, dump them. Get to the barefoot running shoes. These are barefoot running shoes. Um, get down to very little because you're, it's dumbing your feet down. So I'm going to do a big run with actually without shoes at all um, in Africa, and it's going to go. On. It's going to go on. It's, I'll do it all in one month, but it's going to be quite intense. I don't know if I can do it, but I'll, I'll, I'm going to do this. I haven't announced it yet. This is why I'm being kind of. Fluffy in my announcement. This is a fluffy announcement. So I'm going to do this big run thing and see if I can do it. But you can all do if you if you've ever thought marathons, tri uh, triathlons. I'm getting into triathlons. Um, do that swimming, running, and, and cycling. I encourage you to do all these things. At this point, actually, you're all fit at the moment. You're, you're work on that. Um, <laughs> Because I think, because you know, I get, I get big, and I think it's because we're designed to hunt, hunt and gather. That's what we're supposed to be there for. And we've got all this energy, and then when we're not doing, we're sitting on a thing and say, "Oh, I'll eat this." I love eating. I'd eat chips if, that, if they said I could just eat sugar for the rest of my life. I'd put a straw in a bag and I'd just walk around. <laughs> I'd just be there for the rest of my life. But then apparently you can't do that. Um, so yes. Do, at this point, you probably won't be interested in, in exercise or whatever, but as it goes on, it starts to hit you. So it's triathlons is the way forward, or, or at least running, or cycling, or something, or swimming. Try it, even if you're not doing it.